Well, weather changes real fast. One day you're sweating, next day, whew, a little chilly. It's a rainy day out. It's uh, October 1st, 1978, year I was born. I make it another year. Cheers to that. Can't even have a bottle of champagne on my birthday. Can't get bottles. Just can't find them up here. Oh. Well, question on uh, a lot of people's mind and on uh, on YouTube and everywhere else it seems is how how did I get this 2010 beautiful black Chevrolet with the hydraulic lift gate? How did I get this? I'm just a scrapper, you know. I just get the crumbs, pick up the junk. I drive my old trucks. I like driving my old trucks. But, I'll tell you what, I was not looking for a 2010. Nope. So, that's what you've been waiting for the story behind it and how I got this. So in town here, um, been you know making a name for myself, and you know a lot of people know me as the guy with the old square body trucks and hauls junk around, and that's fine. Um, so I've got to know a lot of people in town, and I try to purposely network and you know become friends with the people that matter. I guess you would say. Um, so anyway. Um, there's uh, a couple of oil companies, you know, in town that do, uh, you know, heating oil and propane, stuff like that. A couple of big names, but there's a small time company and it's a family owned, you know, it's just the dad, the son and, and uh, the mother and the office, you know, it's just a small time business. We happen to somehow... Um, start using them uh, they were referred to us for you know getting our oil delivered but um, the guy obviously when he delivered you know to the house he saw the trucks and his favorite one was the Suburban and he likes all of them so uh, never really met him you know waved to him a couple times uh, so anyway I was up uh, at the gas station one day and that's there's like one there's one gas station in town well I shouldn't say that there is there's another small time one but one you know Irving uh, regular gas station with a store and everything but uh, <clears throat> so I was up there and I meet a lot of people up there and stuff you know they see me at the pump and next thing you know I'm picking something up picking a car up whatever so I was on my way out of town getting some fuel and a um, guy come over and he says hey you know and I kind of recognize him and he introduced himself and said I'm your oil guy I deliver your oil he said uh, listen he said my dad's got this old Chevy truck and that's exactly what he said old Chevy truck and uh, he said you know it's um, he's had it for a while and uh, you know what happens is up here there's very little repair shops and uh, people take their vehicles to these shops and they're you know they they're trying to get business they're hungry for the business so they you know they want to tell you know in other words they try to rip people off and tell them that their vehicle needs more 
than it really does. So he said, yeah, you know, he was taking the truck here to this place, and I know the place, and, you know, it's a, I've heard a lot of bad stories about it. Um, they start telling him, it's going to need this, you're going to have to do this, oh, geez, you know, this and that. So his dad got discouraged, and uh, he said, you know, he, his main uh, use for the truck other than his personal, you know, it's what, this is what he drove. Um, he would make uh, runs with propane tanks, you know, uh, up here they have some houses just have those big, the big propane tanks sitting outside and they need them refilled and he was actually load them up in the back of this and as a service take them down, you know, an hour and have them filled and bring them back and deliver them. It was all, all part of the whole business. Um, and his son would drive the oil truck. So um, he said, anyway, he said, you know, my dad's a little discouraged and he says, uh, you know, he's just going to get a new truck. He's just going to go do it and get a brand new Chevy truck. And, uh, you know, not sure whether it's something you'd be interested in, uh, you know, in ripping apart or, um, you know, if you need the engine out of it and figured that uh, we would tell you first and um, you know it does have the hydraulic lift gate but we're going to take that off and put it on the new truck um, as well as the back rack and the lights and you know certain things like that. So not knowing really know what it was you know I'm like well I, you know I don't know I mean you know how much is he looking to get for this thing and you know, he said, well, it might be, you know, it might be worth a few hundred bucks and it might not be, uh, you know, I don't know, you you tell us, you know. So, I didn't, re you know, he said, I'll let you know in uh, the next coming week, you know, or so, because uh, we're going to get it over there to the shop and uh, take the lift gate off and get it ready for the um, for the new truck, you know. So I said, okay, well, you know, one of those things, maybe, I, you know, I don't hear another word about it, maybe I do. Um, and, and in my mind, I'm thinking this is like, you know, a, a 90s, early 2000s, you know, up here, there's a million of them, you know, maybe it's, you know, it's all rotted and just a tired old truck that needs to be parted out. So uh, another, you know, week or so goes by. Uh, next time at the gas station, there he is again. He finds me. He says, hey, uh, you know, my dad's, uh, he's changed his mind a little bit, and uh, he wants to, um, rather than take off the lift gate and put it on the new truck, he just wants to sell the whole thing with the lift gate on it. And uh, he said, you know, that lift gate's worth some money, as you know. And I said, well, yeah, they're... You know, they're just twenty five hundred, three grand brand new, you know. So of course years and years I've always dreamt about having, you know, a lift gate. Uh, I never did, always load not everything up by hand in the back of the truck. So um but I'm not getting really excited because, you know, I I mean I don't have the money to be, you know, probably give him what he wants. So he says, Well, he says, after you're done whatever you're doing, you know, stop by there later today and, uh, you know, we'll probably be over there. Um, you can check it out. And I said, okay, sounds good. So he said, just give me a call. So I I did a few things and uh, I actually, I had been hauling some cars and uh, I made out pretty good on like three different cars that I hauled in. And uh, I had some pretty good ammo in my pocket, if you know what I mean. So I said, what better time to go see what's going on? Maybe I can buy this and flip this, take the lift gate, whatever. So I drive over to where it is at the shop, and uh, I see this truck sitting there. And that's the only truck in the parking lot. Nobody, excuse me, nobody else there. So I say, well, this can't be the truck. This thing's like... I mean, to me, this is like brand new truck. Like, this is like new body style. I mean, it was very, very dirty. 
I mean, uh, just you could tell it hadn't been washed in a while. It's just mud and everything caked up inside the wheel wells and all over the, you know, the tires. The wheels were filthy. And, uh, but I said, this is, I look inside and there's stuff inside. There's gloves, there's, you know, tools. And I said, this is somebody's truck. It's got current plates on it, current sticker, you know, dump sticker, stuff like that. I said, no, this can't be the truck. So I called him up. And I said, yeah, I'm down here. He said, I'll be there in a minute. So he shows up. He takes a key out and opens this truck up. I said, this is the truck? And he's like, yeah, this is it. And I'm like, man, this is unbelievable. Like, to myself, you know. So he points out a few things that, you know, no big deal, I mean you know basically maintenance type things and um, he said you know he said my dad's just he's a certain way you know he's an old guy and he's um, he listens to people too much and you know they they told him things and that it's gonna need and that he's gonna have to do and he just uh, got overwhelmed with it and decided to get a new truck so I looked it over, I mean, 2010, you know, it's, uh, they did a few things to it, you know, the underneath looked like it had been undercoated, a uh, little bit of scale, you know, expected in Maine on the frame, but, um, no problems really like that, um, a little crusty around, you know, shock mount area on the rear, um, lease spring, you know, perches and stuff like that. Probably a few things that are going to need to be done in the future, but uh, no big deal. So, um, anyway, it kind of escalated from there, and, uh, you know, I said, well, I said, what do you think he's going to want for this thing? What do you think he's going to take? And he's like, well, he's, you know, he's talking about taking the back rack off, and so, you know, it might not happen, and this and that, and who knows what else. And so, I said, well, can we, you know, can we talk to, you know, can you talk to him and see if you can, and he said, I want, you know, th this guy, his son, you know, he said, he said, I want, I want to see you get this truck, you know, you've been scrapping metal and picking up stuff for a long time, and, you know, in this town, you're already well known for, helping people out, picking up appliances and um, stuff like that. You need, you know, and you know, I had already told him about my back problems and stuff like that. And I think that, um, I think he told his dad about that. And I just think that being small time, you know, small town and, you know, they, I think they kind of wanted to see it go to somebody like me anyway. That's just my feelings on it. But um, so anyway, he called him up, and um, he ended up coming right down, and he's already in his brand new truck, you know, um, and he says, you know, I got a, I got the appointment set up, I'm getting a brand new Maxon uh, hydraulic lift gate put on this truck, and, uh, you know, I'm all done with this, I'm just all done, you know, he, he so... He just, uh, you know, spurted out a number, and he, I said, oh, but you're keeping this, and no, no, just, just like it sits. He's like, I take my stuff out, take my tools out, and it's all yours. And uh, I kind of made us, you know, a split second decision because it was like, either do it now or it's not going to happen. And basically, um, without, you know putting exact numbers out there, uh, you know, it's just have my own reasons for that. Um, some things that happened in the past here, but uh, I'll put it this way. I mean, I didn't even pay for the lift gate. You know, I didn't even pay for that. That That's, you know, the money I spent on the whole truck was not even enough to buy that lift gate used. So that'll just give me an idea. Um, like I said, I had some cash because I haven't, I hadn't even uh, deposited nothing in the bank. I had done like three, three junk cars, and I said, you know what? 
I'm going to make the decision. Uh, I'm not even going to discuss it with the wife because I know what she'll say. And she would have said, you better fucking do it. You know, so um, business decision, I guess, was uh, pull the trigger. And uh, he said, okay, when you want to do it? I said, I said, I'll buy it right now. They thought it was kind of weird how I had the money right in my pocket, but I just happened to have it. Had a whole wad of cash, and uh, <laughs> he said, well, I'll go up to the office and have my wife make out the paperwork, get the title in, in order, and, uh, you know, I actually, um, I went there with the dually and the trailer, and, uh, you know, because I, like I said, I did. I thought I was going to show up and see a rotted out, you know, 2000, 2001, you know, Chevy truck sitting there that uh, needed all this work. And I was just going to, you know, cut the cats and lift gate and see you later. Um, but that was not the case. So uh, I actually just, I just drove the thing right on the trailer. And uh, tightened it down, and he went up and got the paperwork, waited a few minutes, uh, and they even they cleaned it out, him and his son, and got all this stuff out. And he said, go around back to the building there and get that other stuff that goes with it. I went out back, and there was the brand new tailgate and bumper and trailer hitch. Um that was taken off when they put the lift gate on. All beautiful stuff, like like new, just sitting there. Um, so I got all that with it, and uh, of course, uh, you know, the guy said, the old guy said, I'd like to shake your hand at a later date with everything going on. I don't think I'll do it right now for those reasons, but thank you very much, and uh, you know, I hope you do something with it. I hope you enjoy it, and it was an it was an unbelievable deal. Um, so he come back and uh, I gave him the cash. He gave me the title, and I was gone. Hauled the thing home to the driveway. Wife couldn't believe it. Uh, friend of mine at the time had stopped by. Couldn't believe it. Was actually mad. Uh, that I got it, tried to get it off me right away. Um, so, there it was. Uh, you know, it's a 2010. It's got 125,000 miles on it. Um, they always had it serviced. Uh, it's got some sort of a... I thought it, when I started driving it, it felt like you know, a little high to me, but I had never really driven um, this era truck, I guess. The newest thing I had was uh, 2001, you know, so uh, it felt like, you know, you really had, like, you know, you can, like, barely see over the hood almost, you know, but I just thought that was, but come to find out after uh, seeing the guy you know, out at different bars, restaurants, and stuff around town, and talked to him a little more, and he said, oh yeah, that's that's got a leveling kit in it, so whatever that is, uh, you know, brought it up, I guess, in the front, um, so it does have that, uh, it's got pretty much new General Grabbers, 17s, the factory wheels, never been painted, never been touched, um, Perfect working lift gate, as you know. Oh, I did have to do some work to it when I got it. It had a headlight out. It had a low beam headlight. So, they had LEDs in the uh, high beams and regular ones in the low. One was out, so I just got LEDs for the lows too. And they, uh, they're ju they just come on when you're driving too, like you know, daytime running lights, but, um, trying to think, uh, it's been, it's been unbelievable, uh, owning it so far, um, picked up boilers, um, 
you know, even just a simple appliance, a fridge, a washer, a dryer is just, you know, you put the gate down, you just push it on, press the button. I mean, I use it, I stand on it myself and get myself in the back of the truck. Uh, I love that about it. Of course, that's the best thing about it, it's the lift gate. But 5.3, um, it's, uh, he told me that, you know, it started to bubble a little bit on uh, the back bed, you know, how they all do, uh, a little bit of rust starting, so uh, I went into a body shop and they, up here, they sell these things like crazy, these flares, everyone puts these on to cover it up. And I mean, it does, you know, I guess, prevent it from uh, kind of protecting it, I guess. But, um, it did have, you know, it's, you can see on the bottom, uh, you can notice that when you look under there, it, uh, it did have some steps, like some, you know, side steps on it, um, which would be kind of helpful because... You know, it is kind of high. I mean, not anything crazy, but, you know, you get you get used to it. Um, so, at, I guess at one point, they just, th those probably rusted. They cut those off, which I don't mind because I like it better look, you know, a better clean look without them. Um, they, they put a, a strip of, looks like, like a rhino line or a um, bed liner type stuff along the bottom uh... it's tastefully done you know it, it, you hardly notice it and uh... kinda like a rock guard sort of thing but um, there's a little bit that was peeling off there uh... right on the bottom of the door so i just kinda got some of my own and touched that up um, just to make it look a little better the rockers are pretty solid there's not no rot on the rockers they've been coated with that stuff too um, what else uh, I mean it's got tinted windows it's got ice cold AC you know all the stuff inside uh, it does have seat covers on the front seats uh, it's got the I mean it's so fancy it's got the radio controls on the steering wheel I mean that's a big deal to me I, you know I've never had anything like that so it's pretty crazy all kinds of bluetooth you know stuff going on in there hooks up with your phone and um so i mean being a four door it's great you know the dogs and everything and um not many people ride back there but it is nice um i don't really it doesn't matter that it doesn't have a toolbox because uh and i wouldn't really put one in it because you know only got that um, short bed on it uh, so I kind of the back seat flips up and I you know I could put some tools there and some stuff when I'm you know hauling cars or whatever um, it hauls the trailer pretty nice so um, I guess that brings me to things that I don't like about it I guess if I wanted to be picky um, oh, somebody's here. Speaking of uh, getting to know people, that was DPW, a guy I become friends with that works for them, and he just came by lost my card and he needs a car picked up Subaru so that's pretty good so where was I uh, so things I don't really like about it and uh, of course you can't have it all and so I get a truck with a lift gate but it's a short bed rather have the eight foot bed of course payload more room what are you gonna do um, 
never thought that I would, I uh, never really wanted to own a truck this new. Um, don't even, you know, I don't really care for the body style of them. Um, but uh, I, I will say the truck's grown on me. It's, uh, I like that it's black. It's, um, I, I say I like that it's black, but it also drives me crazy because um, it's hard to keep clean. And because it's shiny black, I want it to be clean all the time. But when you're hauling with it and going to, you know, the scrap yards and stuff and hauling down the highway, it uh, gets dirty real fast. And uh, I find myself always washing it. But um, so. Uh, also being a 2010 uh, it's called uh, it's got drive-by wire um, which means the uh, when you hit the gas pedal I'll explain it as simple as I can on you know a truck let's say the 2001 that I had um, which uh, and do a big video about that uh, that's a sad story but anyway um, that had you step on the gas it had cables actual cables that spun the throttle body which therefore make you go vroom but on a truck like this being called drive-by wire means the throttle body all it has is a plug going to it so when you hit the gas pedal, it's the computer telling the throttle body what to do. So it's all electrical. It's all controlled, you know, by the computer. So um, that means that the response time, it's different. It messes with me a little bit. Uh, you know, I will say that that 2001 had 250,000 miles on it and when you hit that thing to the floor it put you back in the seat you could still burn the rear tires right off that truck even after all it had been through this no if you put this next to that in a race no question that would blow it away this is um, it's got a little it's a little more doggy on the response I mean don't get me wrong if you if you really you know nail the gas like if you really give it to it it goes but um, just uh, one little thing that I don't like and I never really would have chose you know to own um, that style there is uh, different programmers you can buy that you know you plug in and it wakes it up and you know changes uh, things and makes it be a little more peppy but you're looking at you know around 400 bucks for one of those so I don't know not really something that I'd be interested in um, it's obviously very quiet it's got the whole stock exhaust on it, it has three cats on it um, I kinda wanna delete them but they're really not worth a whole lot on these two. Uh, the newer ones don't have as much stuff inside of them. So I already looked up prices on them. And uh, they're, um, they're not really worth a lot. So I'm not really sure if it's worth it to go through. Um, they're a little harder to delete on, the, on this style. They tuck them way up in there. Um, they sit like right up in this area. So be a little bit of a job to take them out and delete them but um, you know those are I guess those are some things that I don't really like about it but um, I can't believe that I own it it's uh, it, it's still unreal to me to uh, walk out in the driveway and see it <clears throat> I mean um, I feel I feel spoiled not only when I when I use the lift gate to put something in but you know when I'm driving this thing with the trailer uh, down the highway you know hauling a car down um, you know with the AC on cruise control windows up 
you know, um, it's just, so there you go, all of a sudden, out of the blue, I end up with uh, 2010 Chevy truck with a lift gate. I don't know, it's the way life goes. Um, with uh with winter coming up here in Maine too um you know it's it's pretty unbelievable cuz uh you know one day you're worrying about you know having two wheel drive trucks um and then winter coming you know how are you going to do stuff how are you going to go pick cars up go in people's yards with uh you know useless two wheel drive plus you know don't want to drive the old square bodies too much in the stuff, you know, get all the shit from the roads on it and uh, rot them out. And your, uh, all your worries are gone because now I just start this up, turn that little knob, put it in four wheel drive if I need it. Um, so, I'm going to be able to uh, park my old trucks and uh, probably give them some love that they need, some, some attention through the winter. Um, and I could just drive this, pretty much do whatever with it. Um, it's been working out since I got the dump bed in the dually. I What I'll do is... Uh, I'll use this to pick stuff up, like if I get boilers or um, stuff like that. You know, I'll use the lift gate and then I'll just back right up to the dump bed, push the stuff right in there. Then when I go to the yard with that, just hit the button, dump it out. Um, I guess the only thing I can say is I wish that I was getting more because now I have all I have all this equipment and uh, I don't feel as though I'm as busy as I should be with picking stuff up and uh, I've, I've tried to get the word out there I've uh, sent out um, a lot of messages and uh, you know used Facebook quite a bit to uh, let people know contractors people that I've you know uh, worked for pick stuff up let them know about this new equipment that I have, what I'm capable of doing, um, you know, and go beyond uh, just picking up scrap metal. You know, up here, you gotta drive quite a ways to get to, uh, you know, a big store like Home Depot or something like that to uh, get an appliance, and usually they don't wanna deliver it um, way up uh, in the woods so um, you know I've been trying to let people know that as a service I will go pick up appliances that they buy or you know deliver them or moving type stuff like that like you know I mean I'm not gonna go in the house and start moving furniture out and but you know if you got it out and you just need it brought from point A to point B you know I got the lift gate you just put it on I drive over um, oil tanks um, been doing oil tanks and it makes it really nice because uh, I pump them out slide them on the lift gate slide them in the truck if I can sell the tank which that last one I did I got tons of fuel I got over I mean uh, I think I got like over a hundred gallons of fuel and then I sold the tank, I cleaned it up, and, uh, you know, just just hustle that way. But uh, makes it really nice. And, um, you know, I, I told that guy that I hope soon that he will agree to uh, have that handshake because of how much I appreciate uh, them giving me the opportunity to buy this truck and they don't know how much it means to me and my family, uh, my health, 
uh, everything, my, you know, my well-being is just, you know, it may sound stupid to a lot of people, but it, it is, when a vehicle can actually, you know, change your life, this, this literally has changed my life because it's just so nice and the fact that for probably, I don't even know, 12 to 15 years or something, I, I've i been scrapping, I mean, back in the day with the old farm truck, you know, it was driving down, you know, the road at 2 in the morning and you see a boiler on the side of the road, guess what, that's going in the truck and I don't care about my back, I don't care what's going to happen down the road, it's going in because i got to make the money, and that's what I did. I, I loaded that truck myself, and I unloaded it myself. At that scrapyard I went to, they never, unless it was something real heavy that I couldn't get out, but... I don't know how many fridges and washers and dryers that I, boilers that I pushed out of that truck, you know, loaded in there, pushed it out. Uh, I did it for years. And I always dreamt about having a lift gate, you know, but it was never, I was always hustling for the next day, that next bill to pay, uh, the rent, you know to eat. Uh, I never had, you know, the huge amount of money to um, invest and buy, you know, different equipment. I've had that same car trailer for the whole time. It's, you know, um, for that many years. I don't even know. It's, uh, it's just amazing um, how long I've been doing it, but That's the story, and that's what, you know, got a few, uh, few of you, you know, asking me in the comments and stuff, and messaging, you know, um, how about it, you know, how about just telling us, and, uh, you know, lately it's just been one thing after the other, a um, lot of different things going on, a lot of uh, vehicles um, coming, you know, coming and going, um, and one thing, you know, is, uh, the next, you know, I have to, uh, I've been, I've been putting it off, but I gotta, I feel really bad. I, uh, you know, I have to make a video about that blue truck, that 2001, uh, I really screwed up there and, uh, I really should have, you know, made a video about it and, uh, explained what happened there uh, for you know the sake of everyone and the truck itself because uh, it was such an amazing vehicle um, but you know you get caught up in you know life and things going on and uh, so anyway um, this truck actually was like you know, it, it, it actually came right right when that one left, uh, which was pretty amazing. It wasn't a planned thing, I tell you. Uh, the story is 100% what I told you. That's how it happened. That's how I got it. And uh, that's going to wrap it up. And... Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found the information uh, interesting. And uh, cheers. 43 today. Uh, looks like I'm going to be getting a junk Subaru on my birthday. I like that. I think you know. You always, you got to be watching because you never know. I could see you. On the streets.